she gets jealous easily. Hi guys, what's up? I'm here with Spice and Wolf episode 13 review so let's jump into it. At first we see Lawrence, Nora, and Hollow celebrate their accomplishments and discuss topics like sheep. Suddenly, Hollow makes a sound that alarms Nora and Lawrence. She reassures them but collapses moments later. In a dream sequence, Hollow monologues about her mundane life in the wheat fields, feeling stagnant despite various events. She reflects on how traveling with Lawrence made her feel rejuvenated, experiencing grander and refreshing events. Although she has traveled with humans before, Hollow feels that her journey with Lawrence has been uniquely joyful, despite some sadness along the way. I know Lawrence ignoring Hollow wasn't really intentional, but one should never ignore their partner in front of others. Also I didn't realize Hollow can get jealous so easily, but it was pretty funny. Next we see Hollow awakens in a bed and recalls Lawrence bringing her there after she became unconscious. Reflecting on her insecurities, she wonders why Lawrence isn't by her side. Lawrence arrives and asks why she didn't tell him she was unwell. Hollow apologizes, suggesting she fainted from exhaustion. Lawrence, familiar with illnesses, checks her temperature and finds she has a fever. After some conversation, Hollow asks to be left alone, and Lawrence advises her to avoid meat for a while. He caresses her head, making Hollow smile under the sheets. Later, Lawrence returns and promises to make porridge the next day. He hands Hollow apple wine, which she finds tastes strange because he diluted it. Lawrence explains he did research at a local establishment and lectures Hollow on the four temperaments of the human body. Many people might not enjoy the medical talk part, because it might not matter in the grand scheme of things, but it gave more depth to the world which is nice, although I will admit that they drag things out a bit. Moving on we see Lawrence learn that cold foods, like apples, would benefit Hollow. He mentions that regular apples are classified as dry foods and a cold apple beverage is preferable for her sickness. He talks about a few dishes that excite Hollow, making him realize she's feeling better. Hollow then pretends to be sick again, hoping Lawrence will fulfill his promises. Lawrence goes to get her porridge, and Hollow falls asleep. In her dream, Hollow reflects on her experiences in the wheat fields and her birthplace, describing them as both joyous and repulsive. She mentions her godly status and the expectations it brings, stating she never asked for that position but had to fulfill certain duties. Despite this, she sees Lawrence as a rare specimen who smiles at her innocence, yet also considers him an impudent human who doesn't know his place in the world. Hollow's inner monologue and dream show just how scared she feels about being left alone again and how her life has changed after meeting Lawrence. Also Hollow getting pampered by Lawrence is too wholesome. Then we see Lawrence return to check on Hollow and hopes she can return the favor if he gets sick. He opens the canister of porridge and Hollow asks Lawrence to feed her. When Lawrence wants to leave to get more things, he asks what she wants him to make. Hollow requests sheep milk again, and although Lawrence is unsure, Hollow convinces him. He mentions Nora's skill with such things, which angers Hollow. Lawrence asks why she treats Nora like an enemy, but Hollow doesn't give a clear response. Lawrence grabs the empty pail, promising to fill it with porridge, and assures Hollow he will return swiftly. He returns with Nora, much to Hollow's displeasure. Hollow asks Nora for the secret to guiding sheep, and Nora says having a generous heart helps. Hollow then shares a sheep joke, referring to Lawrence as the sheep, and after a moment, all three laugh. This part clearly implies that Hollow loves Lawrence, and she wants him to confess his love for her, but our boy is too slow to realize that. Also it looks like Hollow finally managed to let go of her hatred towards Shepard somewhat. At the end we flash forward in time to Hollow's discussion with the toddler from the first episode. Hollow tells the toddler this is how the story between the wolf and the man ended. The toddler asks if the wolf handled sheep well after that. Hollow replies that there's more to the story, and the toddler eagerly asks for more details. Hollow then begins to share another tale with the little girl. Now it's pretty obvious that the little girl is Lawrence and Hollow's child, given how she looks and all that, which is pretty interesting. 
Also it looks like these 13 episodes only contain the prologue of the story. Overall, most people won't like this episode due to its slow nature, but I personally enjoyed it. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel or leave a comment if you want to say something, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description until then see ya.